we got to start with Cole. Cole is uh, the, the senator? S- no. <laughs> Not the senator from Wisconsin. The Burning Rock. The Burning Rock. Um, The day in coal is pretty significant because Peabody Energy is the largest coal company in America, and it has filed for bankruptcy. And first quarter revenue for CSX, the railroad operator, came in lower than expected because coal shipments fell 31% year over year. I'm sensing a theme. I mean, if you're an oil company or someone who invests in oil, is that the solace you take? Well, at least we're not coal. So, <laughs> so this was this was not a hard one to see coming, uh, and I say that because Peabody lost a uh, hundred and ten dollars a share uh, last year, and they don't have like six shares; they've got way more. Yeah. You know. Well, they they had a reverse split, so a fifteen to one reverse split recently. So the shares had gone down, but losing hundred and ten dollars a share when you're a two dollar stock is a bad math equation. And the equation was basically they sold about $5 billion worth of coal last year, and they lost $2 billion in the process, which is not something you can Some keep up. Some of that's write-downs, though. Like, that's not all cash, but it is enough. It's, it's, I don't it's to... a grim equation and has been yeah. for a while for coal, and I don't see it getting better anytime soon. Uh, but if, if you're in bankruptcy, at least you can straighten out some of your debts uh, by not paying them. Yeah, for sure. The thing that I don't really, the, the the thing that I cannot figure out, the thing that doesn't make sense to me, which means I'm probably not thinking about it right, which my wife tells me happens all the time. Um, coal is basically being replaced by other fuels. You know, utility slates have changed. Natural gas is the natural, the easiest place to go. Natural gas prices are nearly as far down in the dumps as met coal prices. And it is simply something that doesn't make sense to me how that would be the case. Why are shares of CSX up around 5% today? I get that from the standpoint of their quarterly profits, they did just fine. They did about as expected. But clearly, the transport of coal is a significant part of their business. That is very much on the decline. Where is the enthusiasm coming from for this business? So, coal as part, and it's a huge part of the rail you know, business, is, is moving coal, uh, especially for CSX and some other companies. Uh, but that coal was down 31% year over year in uh, volume. So, from not a very high number to start with. Yeah, already declining. And I think that CSX, it's certainly not that number, or that number was expected. Uh, coal is not reversing, but the monthly numbers were better than expected. I think uh, Genesee and Wyoming uh, had its monthly numbers out. It's up more than CSX today. So, uh, I think that on the whole, uh, rail transport is beginning to show a little bit of life coming back. The stocks have all gotten clobbered, as most, most things in the transport uh, sector. Uh, but everything has come back a little bit. And on the whole, although the quarter just passed doesn't look all that good. Uh, there are things since the end of the quarter that, that look better. So, at Full Funds, we don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about daily movements. But, Bill, try this on for size. The fact mm. that Peabody has gone into, gone into reorganization rather than liquidation perhaps suggests that they may have some uh, additional financial flexibility moving forward and perhaps that's you know that 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 would have something to do with the uh because coal is not although i would not call coal a growth industry there's going to be many many years in which coal is being moved in large you know in in rail cars around this country it is simply the case that it's a big part of the slate for utilities so i kind of wonder if some of it has to do with the fact that that Peabody is finally attempting to get its financial house at order in a greatly reduced state. I think that the rails are a diversified uh, industry, uh, moving a lot of things other than coal. So, uh, frozen concentrate orange be, juice, for example. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we we actually, when we go outside here, we're right by a major uh, rail line, and 
boy, we see a lot of frozen concentrated orange juice cars yeah. go by uh, us, which sort of detracts from the atmosphere of a nice spring day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a massive rail <laughs> but coming I by. Mean, somewhat. So, Cole, I don't know of anything else that probably more any industry that more squarely is going to be affected by the outcome of of this election than coal. And I've said that before, maybe here, uh, but you've got uh, very, very different. Uh, philosophies between the Democrats and Republicans on coal. Just just the question, coal, one word, good or bad. Yeah. There is a 100% chance that you can predict coal, good or bad. That's your only, you're only allowed to say one of those two words. Democrats will say bad. Republicans will say good. Um, now, they don't ever answer things in one word, so it's <laughs> oh, well, you neither know. do you. Yeah, unfortunately, coal is going away. Blah blah blah. But we're going to help and all that. But really, this is this is an industry which is paying a lot of attention to the election. 